Welcome to the Get Fit Guys, quick and dirty tips to slim down and shape up. My name is Ben Greenfield. I'm the Get Fit Guy, and in today's episode, I'm going to give you five lessons I've learned from the fittest old men and women on earth. A few days ago, I was reading an article on Vice entitled, The Healthiest Old Person on the Planet Explains How to Stay in Shape which introduces this guy named Charles Eugster, who's 96 years old. Charles is a decorated British sprinter. He has world records in the 200-meter and 400-meter sprints and British records in the 60-meter, 100-meter, and 200-meter sprints. Well, that's pretty impressive considering that most guys his age can barely walk across the street they're even still alive. But that's not all. Charles is also a bodybuilder, a public speaker, a writer, a rower, a wakeboarder, an entrepreneur, a fashion designer. He's planning his own line in elderly couture. He's even claimed that he's witnessed some of his white and gray hairs turn brown. And while I'm kind of skeptical of that last claim, I do know one thing. He certainly cracked the code on how to stay fit as you age. And this is a topic near and dear to my heart, since I not only want to live a long time, but I want to look as good as possible doing it and be able to have my brain and body work as optimally as possible, even if modern society thinks I should be sitting in a rocking chair in a care facility watching Seinfeld reruns. Well, in the Get Fit Guy episode, Can Seniors Get Stronger? And I'll link to that over at quickanddirtytips.com. Just check out the show notes to this episode, episode number 283. I address the common belief among exercise enthusiasts that at around 50 to 60 years old, people just lose the ability to get stronger. Well, while it's correct that you can lose muscle as you age, a process called sarcopenia, new research also proves you can stave off this decline, and quite significantly. I've detailed in an article called How to Look Good and Live a Long Time at bengreenfieldfitness.com, a research-based exercise program that does allow you to, as you age, do things like maintain mitochondrial energy-producing capacity, keep your metabolism elevated, increase your muscular endurance and your lactic acid buffering capacity, and, well, look good naked as you age. But when it comes to defying aging and staying as fit as possible as you age, lab-based science is one thing and personal in the trenches oral world experience is quite another thing. So I find it fascinating to study some of the fittest old people on the face of the planet to see exactly what they're doing. So let's delve into Charles Eugster's secrets along with four other extremely fit people who are not exactly young anymore. So Charles Eugster, here's what I got from him. Eat real food. Sure, the guy lifts weights, which is crucial for maintaining muscle mass and hormones as you age and has even been shown to decrease the rate at which telomeres shorten, which is associated with accelerating at aging if that happens. But regarding his diet, he says in the interview with Vice, variety is key. I start every day with a protein shake because as you get older, your protein synthesis no longer functions as well. I avoid sugar and I eat lots of meat, especially fat. I've been on a fat trip lately. Fat. Piles of fat. Yet I was in a supermarket the other day and was perplexed to find yogurt with zero fat. What on earth is that? The idea of the nutrition pyramid where at the top is a little fat and meat and at the bottom a lot of carbohydrates is, excuse me, BS. Humans are so unbelievably stupid that we have begun to tinker with food. Our theories of nutrition have resulted in a pandemic of obesity. Can you imagine a hunter-gatherer enjoying a low-fat yogurt? Let me tell you this, too. I read a report recently which said that a fatty diet also increases your libido. So there you have it, straight from Charles. It's pretty unlikely you can eat modern, fat-free Franken-fuel foods and still live a long time and look good doing it. Next is Laird Hamilton. Well, in my recent interview with Big Wave Surfer and 52-year-old Laird, who is still just as spry and quick-moving as the 20-something-year-old surfers he puts to shame, Laird highlights one of his best anti-aging secrets, constantly learn new stuff. Now, over at quickanddirtytips.com, I'm going to link to a video that my friend and fellow fitness enthusiast Dustin Mayer shot of Laird explaining how he never grows old one day where we were hanging out with Laird down in Hawaii. And Laird's garage where we filmed the video is a personal testament to this philosophy. It's chock full of toys that Laird constantly invents to surf waves in different ways, along with skis, snowboards, jet skis, balance devices, and all sorts of different tools to challenge his body in new ways as he forces his brain 
brain and muscles to maintain or to build new neurons to learn all these new skills. People often ask me why I delve into everything from archery to snowboarding to spearfishing to obstacle racing to kickboxing to ukulele and beyond, and that is one of the biggest reasons why. It keeps you young. Lesson number three is from Mark Sisson, who says to lift, move, and sprint. And 62-year-old Mark probably has the finest set of six-pack abs you've ever seen on any guy, much less a guy his age. So what's his secret? Well, first, rather than engaging in long, slow, chronic cardio exercise, he instead does short, fast, all-out sprint workouts at least once a week, all year long. He doesn't overdo these and recommends performing these kind of workouts like ultimate frisbee or treadmill high intensity intervals or hard bicycling up hills just once every seven to 10 days. Well, next he does brief intense sessions of full body heavy weightlifting one to three times each week for just seven to 30 minutes. And then finally, he moves frequently at a slow pace using things like treadmill workstations and low level physical activity all day long. And he avoids any long unbroken periods of sedentary time. So lift, move, sprint. Pretty simple concept, huh? Well, you can learn more about Mark's philosophies and daily habits in an interview that I recently conducted with him, and you can find that over at bengreenfieldfitness.com. Next is Don Wildman. Now, in the episode, What is the Hardest Workout in the World?, I discuss another article called The Hardest Workout in the World, and in it, the author outlines septuagenarian Don Wildsman grueling, intense, multi-stage weight training workout dubbed The Circuit. Well, the first time I went to the gym to do the hardest workout in the world, I thought it'd be a piece of cake. After all, if a 75-year-old could do it, I should surely manage it too. Well, when I crawled out of the gym three hours later, I was thinking a bit differently, and my body was feeling the effects of that challenge for the next several days. After researching Don, who's now 80, a bit more, I discovered that he not only does this same epic workout quite frequently, but he also goes mountain biking on difficult trails for miles a day, along with stand-up paddleboarding, big wave surfing, and even helicopter snowboarding. Now, these might seem like epic, scary, daunting tasks, but Don still does them, and he's certainly living life at a much more exciting level than 99% of his peers and staying incredibly fit doing it. So what epic or scary event or workout can you add to your calendar this week, this month, or this year? For me personally, a couple days after I record this episode, I'm headed over to Seattle to do an overnight Spartan race called the Hurricane Heat. I really don't want to do it deep down inside. It's kind of scary, but I know it's going to make me a stronger, better person. And that kind of stuff keeps me young. Now, number five is Olga Katelko. She's one of the only women who I talk about in this episode. The only woman, in fact, uh, and her secret is to stay supple. Now, in the episode, The Mystery of the 95-Year-Old Track Star and what she can teach us about living longer, happier lives, I introduce Olga, who's this senior track star. She's since passed away, but at the time, she held over 23 world records in track and field, 17 in her current 90 to 95-year-old age category. And when I read the book about her life, one of the biggest takeaways for me was that Olga didn't just beat up her body every day without going out of her way to keep it recovered. And supple. She instead woke up every night, grabbed an old empty wine bottle beside her bed, and gave herself a full-body foam roll-style massage on her fascia and her muscles and her joints. And whether you try to book a weekly or a monthly massage, or whether you do routines like the mobility routine that I recently posted to youtube.com slash Ben Greenfield Fitness, and I personally do that routine twice a week to keep my own body supple, you'll find you can keep muscle soreness, cranky joints, poor movement, and other body issues we accept as normal with aging at bay. So that's it. Eat real food, learn new things, lift, move, and sprint, do epic things, and stay supple. Put those five tips together, and you're likely to stay incredibly fit, even into your very, very old years. Well, do you want more aging and fitness tips? Check out my episode in Fitness Tips for Seniors, where I lay out a basic exercise program that any senior can easily start, no matter the level of fitness. And then in the episode Tips to Reverse Brain Aging and Get Smarter, I teach you how to increase blood flow to your head, reverse brain damage, and halt the cognitive decline that occurs with aging. I'd recommend you read or listen to both those episodes, along with the other links that I've provided in this episode, and you'll find all of that over at quickanddirtytips.com. Just check out the show notes this episode, episode number 283. And until next time, I'm Ben Greenfield, the Get Fit Guy, asking you, 
What are you waiting for? Go get fit.